Hello. In this video, we want to derive an expression for the distance in energy between any two adjacent energy levels for the harmonic oscillator. Now recall that the energy of a particular level in the harmonic oscillator is equal to n plus one half times h nu. Or you can write it equivalently as n plus one half times h bar omega, where omega is the angular frequency. So how can we figure out the distance between any two energy levels? Well, what we want to do first is to write an expression for the nth plus one energy level. So how do we do something like that? So this is the next higher energy level above e sub n. Well, what we do is we simply replace n by n plus 1 anywhere we see it in the expression. So let's replace n by n plus 1. And I'll write that in blue and write the rest of our expression exactly as we did before in purple just to show which parts we changed and which parts we didn't change. We're going to write it in terms of h nu, but you could similarly do it in terms of h bar omega if you like. So what this shows clearly is that n has been replaced by n plus 1. Now we can simplify <clears throat> this expression somewhat. So e the nth plus 1 by using the fact that 1 plus a half is 3 halves. So we have n plus 3 halves times h nu. So this is the energy for the nth plus 1 level. But what we want now is the distance between the nth and the nth plus first. So that's simply e sub n plus 1 minus e sub n. Because the next level after n is n plus 1. The lowest energy level for the harmonic oscillator is n equals 0. And the n's have to be whole numbers. So at first we write down the e sub n plus 1 energy expression. So let's write that out in green. That's n plus 3 halves times h nu. Now we're going to write the expression for the nth plus first, uh, the nth value. And we're going to write that in blue. So that is going to be n plus a half times h nu. So this is e sub n plus 1. This is e sub n, and notice that we're subtracting them. So now we're going to write out, let's expand the expressions. In the case of e sub n plus 1, we get n times h nu plus 3 halves h nu. We simply use the distributive law right there. And then for the e sub n part, we have minus n h nu, then minus type of half, so we have to distribute the minus sign times one half h nu. So this expression here of four terms gives us the difference in energy between any two energy levels. Right away we notice a couple things that we have n h nu here and n h nu there. Those add to zero. So we're left simply with 3 halves h nu minus 1 half h nu. And we can simplify this simply down to 1 h nu. So the difference between any two levels is h times nu. And the important thing to notice here is that in this expression, n does not come in at all. So it doesn't matter which n, n plus 1 we use, the difference in energy levels is exactly the same. This is one peculiarity of the quantum harmonic oscillator, is that every pair of energy levels that are next to each other are exactly the same distance apart. This corresponds to the idea of a ladder, where each step in the ladder is exactly the same distance, or a normal flight of stairs, 
where the distance from one step to the next is exactly the same. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.